Alright, <clears throat> I'm back with another video of C++ with Lua. I got this suggestion here. Uh, Seroxol was ask, asking how you return uh, values from Lua and get them in C++. So for example, if you have this, then you want 10. Re you return 10 from Lua and you want to be able to use it in C++. And also he asked how to pass arguments to functions from C++. So if you have a predefined C++ function and you just want to like let's say move object and then maybe pass in the argument object name the the you know how much on X he wants to move and how much on Y and so on right so maybe you want to do that I, I don't I can't really remember if I covered that even though it was just one two days ago I did these videos just because I re did all the videos like two three times or something so I, I covered different things on each video so <laughs> I just gonna, I'm just gonna do this. All right. So we're gonna we're gonna begin with returning values from a function in Lua to C++. So we start from scratch. What do we do? We create a Lua state. I set it to Lua open. We open the state. Then we want to close it. So Lua close state. Right. Then we load our default libraries, open libs. Alright. Now we should start creating the function in Lua. So open up a script that you made in Lua. I've just put it in my uh, where my default project is and call it script.lua and just open up open it up in notepad or notepad plus plus or whatever so you can type and then start type create a simple function and we are gonna we're gonna mul multiply a x and a y right and then we're gonna return that so x times y so we are actually giving um, the user a choice to multiply to um, two variables. Now, now, now another problem appears. How do we give those two arguments in C++ to Lua? That Lua knows knows what to use here. We could uh, call this from Lua, like this, right? But we don't want to, we want to call it from C++, so how do we do that? Well, I'm going to show you. First of all, we're going to try and get this um, this function. We're going to search for this function, and it's called multiply. And then we're going to check, so it is a function, so Lua is function. And Lua get top. Right, and if it is a function, we want to call it. But first, we're gonna have to give Lua. We're gonna feed Lua two va values. So, Lua push number. In this case, it is a number, as that is what we want. But you could um, use any value like string or boolean. You know, just make sure that you check so they don't try and enter so don't try and multiply two strings with each other or something so that would be really bad anyway so Lua push number and then the state and the number so I want to multiply 5 by this is the y value we're entering now by 2 so this is the x in this case, and this is the y. 
as you can see here x and y now we can call the function so lua call and number of arguments we have two arguments and returns we want to return one and this is where the question comes in how do we get this value how do we how do we get the value and, and store it in c++ and be able to use it from within c++ well whenever we, whenever we tell lua to return something from a function in this case uh, x times y it pushes that value on top of the stack so we can just do like we've done with any other variable we can just do a check first so it is a number so lua is number and lua get top so if the if the number on top of the stack is if the variable on top of the stack is a number we can print it so lua to number l lua get top just like that all right and now we should get 10 if everything is if everything works and it didn't so i have probably have some sort of trouble very yeah and we get the multiply just gotta make sure that I spelled right and then we got it and we made sure it is a function then we push two numbers I'm just gonna check so that it's okay. Oh right, oh, God, I haven't called the script yet. alright there we go so don't forget to actually call the script and we get 10 that was exactly what we wanted so this works and we can change this to 8 8 times 2 is 16 so yeah it's correct 